Hello friends, today we will be doing Math Kangaroo level 5 and 6, year 2016, question number 30. Uh, let's read the question. Two three-digit numbers have all their six digits distinct. Distinct means all digits are different. The first digit of the second number is twice the last digit of the first number. What is the smallest possible sum of such two such numbers? So it means we have two numbers. So you have a hundred tens and ones, like you have a three digit number. And how many digits do we have in maths? We have 10 digits. These are my 10 digits and I have to use six of them because all of them are distinct. The condition here is that the first digit of the second number is twice the last digit of the first number. So what all combinations will fit here? Suppose if I take this as one, then this has to be two. If I take this as two, then this has to be a three. Okay, if this is a four, then I can take an eight. Now, yeah, if I take this to be a three, then this will be a six. Now you cannot take a five because it will become a 10. It will become a two digit. So the possible digits available to me are, uh, so one, two, four, three, two, three, and eight, six. Uh, no, it will not be a two, one, two, so I'll have a 2 and a 4, 4 and a 8, 3 and a 6. So these are the possible combinations here and here. Okay. But they are saying I need to have the smallest possible sum. Okay. So we first try if we are talking about the smallest possible sum with the smallest digit possible. So if this becomes a 1, I'll put this as 2. Correct. And then I need the least possible sum. So I'll put this as 3 because I can't put a 0. Otherwise, it will become a 2 digit. So I'll put a zero here. Okay, so the digits that I have used is zero, one, two, three. So then the next digit available to me is four and a five. So I add it up. So I get a six, four and a five. So I have 546 at the option, but then there are other lower numbers like, you know, 535, 537 and 301. So let's just try if I can do any other combination with the two. So suppose if I put two here, then I'll have to put a four here. Okay, but then 1 becomes available to me and 0 is also available to me. So I have used 1, 0, 1, 2 and 4 is here. So I can put a 3 here and I can put a 5 here. So if I add it up, I get the total of 537. So I will go with this combination of numbers. So my answer is option E, uh, 537. I hope you liked my video. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.